Hi friends, uh, good afternoon and welcome to AIT, Academy of Information Technology. Friends, uh, today we are going to learn how to create a table, right? This is very simple things, right? But there are some uh, catch up we need to understand while creating the tables. So I will not take much time, rather we will create a table very simply, right? But we will try to understand what are those all catch up, right? So you can see this is my SQL Server right a management studio and this is the SQL Server query this is called instance right like suppose here's the database let me refresh once right and if you can see we have one database created over here that is employee and how to create this one go to check out my first blog how to create a database right and if you go and see we don't have any table inside this one right so let us see what are the cache let me create a very simple table right create table uh, let me take a uh, department right okay now uh, uh, let me have the department ID uh, friends I'm not going to discuss here about the uh, data types like INT varchar will cover this in later sessions in detail one right simply to understand how to create a table what are all those cats up now let me go to for the department name and this should be my and uh, let me keep it max Okay, now go to the you know employee name and again this uh, I'm going to keep this one as also as back here right and I'm going to keep this one max and now at the last I'm going to keep the date of joining and let me keep this as the date and time for the time being right let me uh, create this table let me run this one you can see the table is created and let me see if the data is inserted inside or not select star from maybe we have not inserted any data as of now but I'm going to check okay is this table existed or created or not right so we can see this table is created and we can see we cannot see this table right what I want I want to create this table in employee right so let me go and close this one and refresh this database refresh this database refresh this database okay now I'm going to refresh this employee database now let us check if the table is created or not inside we can see the table is created right but you can see this table is not created in the employee database right that's why this is a catch-up I want to make sure for all the beginners whenever you create a table right so if I'm going to open a new query right so you can see there are two editor screen right new two query we can tell and these are called the instance so you need to make sure which instance you are going to use and where that instance is linked with suppose like if I'm going to keep here use now where that table is created if I'm not going to give any specific name so if you go to the system database and if you go to the master one and again if you go to click on this table you will find dbo department right hope you got this one now the same thing if i want to create in the employee database right over here so what i'll do i'll just go this one control c and use like db let's say emp right emp in many cases it work at db but if you don't work you can just keep here use database emp what you will do it will make sure oh sorry use database is it emp yeah right it click here. intelligence okay now go okay so uh this should work randomly this it works right use okay let me just get use emp not it okay that's fine so this makes sure that you uses the emp data so now if i'm going to create a table over here i've just you copied and paste this one over here right and then click f5 and now if you go and refresh this one what you'll find you'll find the tables over here db or department i hope this is clear other way you can uh, do this one right let me drop how to drop this table right simply drop you can use table let me copy this one department okay drop table department okay now let me go and refresh this one again and you, what you'll find this table is deleted so now we came to know how to create a table and how to drop how to delete a table so this is the beauty for how to creating a table right next thing other way you can give the schema name like 
dbo uh, what is this uh, dbo name okay emp dot dbo okay now let us check this one you can see it's created right so in front you need to give the, air, the server name used to come over here right so when you're walking in any professional environment you need to provide the server name over here as well right and in this way also you can specify the specific locations to create a table right so we learn two method to how to create a table right and how to identify the uh, specific location for how to allocate locations for that table right where we want to keep that I hope this video is clear. This video is just for how to creating a table. That's it. Have a good day friends. Hope you all enjoy the video.